What's up, everybody? We got Roger Howe live and in person. Maybe the last time anybody sees me alive. We'll have it on video. <laughs> if something goes down, we'll have it. Well, we're here. We're about to hike the Penhoti Trail in Alabama. We're Alabama. at the Penhoti Outdoor Center. Roger is taking me on my first backpacking <laughs> trip. We got a veteran here. It'll be his newbie. first, my last. I'll yeah, die on first the trail. and last. Last time he came out here, he came out here with Peyton, and he almost didn't come out. Peyton tried to kill me. He did. He really tried to kill me. But he's here. He made it out. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful location. Look at these shoes. It's hard not to look at. They're so bright. So he's he's dressed so they see him coming. So they can find my dead body. Yeah. So if he falls out, they it's gonna be hard to miss him. I'm finna go on the trail, hopefully. A new handy dandy. Oh, wait, I gotta pull that off, man. Be like Mini Pearl with the sale price hanging on it or something. You know who Mini Pearl is? Uh oh. Oh, yep. These young whippersnappers. They paid $100 for this hat. All right, we're here at the trail. This but is Bay Bridge. Nutrition. We're here at, what's this called? Bull's Gap? Bull's Gap, baby. This is where we're actually gonna end. So, when you're doing trail. Hiking. What is this called? Section hiking? We're backpacking, section hiking. You want to make sure you have a way to get back to your car or you'll just have to go all the way back. We're parking at the end and somebody's taking us to the beginning of what we're doing today. All right, so look at our packs. We got ultra light to the maximum here. It weighs two pounds. To total. the minimum. To the minimum. To the minimum. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and then we got just like the workhorse here. How much does your weigh? Everything right there is about 23 pounds. 23 pounds. I'm marking with probably about 35. I got everything we need and probably, I probably got more, but we'll see. Hopefully we don't have less. He got the ultra light philosophy and I got, I want to make it a little tough. Ultra comfort. Ultra comfort <laughs> and tough here. And the shoes, what are those? Ultra Lone Peak 8s. Just call me Sonny. If he falls out, we'll be able to find him. <laughs> and I got these, just some eight inch 511 boots. We got different situations here. We'll see how it goes. He's, Here's the different how old situations. How old are you? 27. And I'm 61. There's the different situations. <laughs> so he's got a couple years of, he's better at walking than I am. He's yeah. got more practice. Yeah, but you're better at running and lifting weights. And... So it's probably going to be equally tough for both of us. We'll see. Unless you yeah. have. We'll see. Nah, you'll cruise it. You can run this whole trail. Well, I was I was a little more confident until this huge hill popped up right here that's like straight <laughs> hey. up. All right, we're on the trail. Wait, let me suck my gut in, man. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Loaded down, ready I'm to I'm really not that fat. It's this belt under yeah, that's here. It. That's, that's it. Making it look that way. All right, we're going to divide up right here. Mud. Oh, my poor Mud. shoes. <laughs> Already missed look, the shoes. Look. Oh no! Oh man, got mud all over. Them. <laughs> all right, well that's just the beginning. Interesting already, and we just started. All right, this is where we're at on the trail. We're headed to Bulls Gap, 11.2 miles. You ready? Two minutes in. How you feeling? I'm feeling strong. Stop My one check, 25-ish minutes. Pretty good. We'll get to these, this elevation, it might be five times as long, so let's we'll see. He's still holding up. And yeah, so let's keep running. Keep trucking. Major key, stop and take in the views. You know, you can take this as a workout, you can take it as whatever, but I mean, don't forget the reason you're out here is to enjoy the views yeah. and relax. So don't just, don't work too hard trying to get somewhere quick and, and miss the, the, you know, nature. There's like a, you probably can't see it, but there's like a lake or pond or something over here. And he said this is snake country, so he put me out front. Yeah. I think he's just scared since I have a heavier bag that i'll fall on top of him and kill him <laughs> <laughs> how much do you weigh me yeah 196 196 plus we you got weigh that with your pack two something and then i weigh uh 
So all together, I was weighing like 245 with my back pain. Oh, wow. So you'd probably die. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm at, well, so like I'm 215? At, I'm at about 220. 220. And then I got these boots on. This is nice, though. 1.64 miles. First downhill. I feel like we haven't even went uphill, but let's get it. All right, we're two miles in. Halfway, baby. In 54 minutes. Not too shabby. I was kind of worried, you know. The way we was talking on the way here, it would be like four hours. And it still may be. Still may be. <laughs> because we've only done 287 feet of 1,050 feet of elevation. So the last mile is like climbing yeah. a ladder. Apparently. We're praying it switch back. Yeah. But Beautiful. Here we are. Man, look at it over there. Three miles in. So, where's he at? Where'd you go? Oh, he's wet. He's over there. Three miles in. You see him back there? I don't know how much he's pushing, but decided to push that last section. We're going uphill now. About a minute or two ago, my heart rate was at like 140 something. It's good. Zone two, zone three ish. I don't know. But a good workout, good steady state cardio. Decided to see what I can do, just hammer it. So we got just a little over a mile left. I'll take this opportunity to take in the sights. Hey. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm lost. You'll find out in a minute. Something. Oh, it's just Roger. Hey, hey, Roger. Looks like we got switchbacks, which is good. So we're not going straight up. We're in the the final mile. It's like the most elevation out of the rest of it. But I can see we're getting there. See, Rob Roger takes a lot. He says he takes a picture every 15 feet. He will never forget this. Yeah. That is just gorgeous. What'd you say before? <laughs> they say if when you're hiking like an old man, uh, you stop and act like you're taking pictures, but you're really taking a breather. Because <laughs> you're dying. Oh, it makes sense now. <laughs> it is pretty though. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. Oh. We're getting higher. Tell those rocks. That's it. Four miles in. 146.11 and 1,000 feet-ish of elevation. 
I don't know where Roger is. I start seeing those attainable goals and I just push. But I think this is the campsite. I'm thinking he's probably gonna wanna go for more. It's supposed to be at 4.1 and I think I'm a little bit behind him. So we'll see what his watch says. But see all this camp, got some logs, a fire pit. So, so I'll just sit right here and wait on him for a second. There he is. All right, here it is. Fire pit, some wood, some logs to sit on. See the camps. I'm on the way over there too. What you got? It's like right on the mountain. I ain't camping there. If you wanted to be survival shelter, you could just put some limbs over this or a tarp. You want to lay on there tonight? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's gotta be it. I mean, it's definitely a campsite. Well, I am gonna unpack a minute. Rest a little, maybe eat a little, and then Check trek it. on. Yeah, let's do it. You're good for that. I'll do it. All right, we back at it. Gonna try to get to about six miles, so get a good bit ahead of, uh, he's having watch problems. First world problems here, but. Uh, we got to the campsite ahead of schedule, so we're going to go ahead and knock another two out. He got his watch started, so he can go now. We're going to go ahead and knock two two more miles out, get a head start for tomorrow, and hopefully we can find us a good camp spot. Feeling good. Got some food in us, just a little snack, and now we're getting it. You ready? Yeah! Trying to take pictures and videos, but it doesn't do it justice. All right, five miles in. Let's go. We're lit. We're still alive. Feeling good. Just taking it nice and slow. Got all kinds of daylight left, so no rush today. All right, we're about 5.3 in. Got a wonderful natural tower here. It's a natural tower. Yeah, it's natural natural occurring. It the old man is surviving. He's thriving out here. Yeah. He's doing good. Dylan's a lot nicer to me than Peyton. Peyton put him in the dirt. Well, we are on a, like a driveway right now. We don't ever share that part. Oh. It was all rugged and hard. We barely yeah, it was, made it out alive. Barely made it. So peaceful. I don't know where Roger is. <laughs> Some rough terrain back there. But, man. Beautiful. All right, 10K in, 10,000 meters, two hours and 46 seconds. Wait, 46 minutes, two hours and 46 minutes. Roger is Hey, wall. I think I'm at a spot I could stop and check on, like wait on him. I think he wanted to go to about eight miles. So this is our next option here at six something. So I'm gonna stop here for a second, see what he wants to do. I'm ready to keep rolling. Almost seven miles in. I lost Roger like 30 minutes ago. It's been nothing but out of heel the last like 20 minutes. So catch my breath for a second, taking this view, because I did not notice it until now. But it's beautiful. Whew. So we are we're doing an 11 mile hike. We're doing an 11 mile hike and uh, almost seven miles in. Um, 
we were gonna do four and then seven. So it turns out we're doing, I think we're doing over eight today. Now that we just hammered it. We didn't know how he was gonna feel because he had a little issue last time he hiked, health issue. So we're testing it out, but we are, we are in the sky right now. This is awesome. Who knew you could get something like this in Alabama, but uh, yeah, about a little bit over a mile left and I'll probably try to find somewhere to just take a break and set up camp. Uh, he kind of told me what we were thinking. It's like an abandoned road up here somewhere. If I find it, I'll stop. Uh, but until then, I'm just gonna keep trucking because what else am I gonna do? Let's get it. All right, seven miles in, three hours, five minutes, 49 seconds. Let's go. eight miles 32701 I see that little road he was talking about he wanted to camp on see I get there I think I'm almost there oh yeah it's perfect he's gonna love this perfect oh. no spot up there that's good road right there you feel so light when you get that bag off. I'm soaking wet. Just was, oh, just hiked, rugged, whatever you want to call it, backpacked. Three and a half hours. I've ran for that long before. Difference, I'd say, I mean, obviously when you're running, you're putting out more. But with all that weight, you're putting out I that last mile, mile and a half was really rough, super rocky. So my feet are worn out. But uh let's see what time it is. 414. And we started at like 12, 1230. Let's see how long it takes them to get here. It's 414 now. So peaceful. Only saw one person on the trail besides me and Roger. A lady camped out on a rock. She was making herself at home. So I'm gonna just sit here for a minute, see where he, see how long he takes to get here, and then I need to charge my phone. Both my watch and my phone are about dead. Um, yeah, and then I'm excited to take these pants and boots off. It's actually supposed to be 30 something degrees tonight, but I mean the weather feels great. Just humping that for so long that that difficult terrain is makes you sweat. <laughs> so I've been hydrating. Got a camel back full of water, probably like 30 something ounces. And I got two liters here that I haven't touched. And I have a filter. We can find a stream. There's some water. There's gotta be a stream or something close. So yeah, I'm gonna wait on him, fuel up, charge up, <laughs> hydrate up. <laughs> And then see what he wants to do. There he is. She can see him with them bright lights. Hey! Hey! What? <laughs> I was booking those last few miles. Do what? I I did my fastest mile in the last mile. Well, there was a section up there that I actually jogged. And me my too. Hip, my <laughs> hip and my cans are screaming at me. Oh, man. All right, we got Jeff. He said his trail name's Jeff, just a little further. We're going just a little further. We're going to end up another mile and a half to go oh. camp at a spring so we have water. Oh. We could take a bath tonight oh, in the spring. They call him Jalf. Just a little further is what they say. And call me Ralph. <laughs> we might we might camp tonight. We, we're gonna end up nine and a half miles into a 
11, well, 11 and a half mile hike. Miles yeah, up. we were supposed to do four miles. He's just trying to ease me into it. My trail name is Jeff. J-A-L-L -L stands for just a little further. Yep, I think he wants to go home tonight. I tell you what, if he ever got dementia, he'd be all right. He got pictures and videos of everything. Yep. They'll know where I've been. I may not know where I am, but they'll know where I've been. Everywhere, man. Nine miles in. Not sure. Good time. Stop my watch right here. Take another half mile, we might stop. Yeah. Just might have to keep going. All right. H2O. This is actually a solid looking campsite. Um, we we'll then got way ahead of Roger again, or Jeff. Nine and a half in. I guess I'll just wait on him. <laughs> At this point, man, it wouldn't be too much just to finish, but if we're gonna camp, probably about time to set up camp. So, I guess I'll wait on him. Just a little further. <laughs> Almost there. Hey, mister, are you okay? I know CPR. Okay, good. You might need it. There's the water. H2O, 0.1 mile. Like a little, little flat tent spot right there. Yeah, it is. Or, or. It's only two miles to the Jeep. <laughs> we can go a little further. Get to the Jeep. Drive back to where they let us out at Trammel Trailhead. That look, there was plenty of room, I think, right there to pitch a tent. And we can pitch the tent. And depending on how we feel in the morning, we might do the seven miles between there and the POC in the morning. More bang for your buck just a little part <laughs> comes dragging up look every That's time forever and he drags up and he goes oh man let's not stop let's keep going i'm like all right we're here i'm gonna settle down for a minute rest up get ready to set camp and then he shows up like hey let's go let's go just a little further Burning daylight. <laughs> just a little further i see why they call him jeff now it makes sense. At first, I was like, huh? That's just a nickname. That See, the A-L is like in the word ale for beer. Ale, gel. 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 What's up, gel? You say it like a redneck. It makes it sense. That's it. It's We're going all the way. We're already at 10 miles, I think, so. Almost. Yeah, 9.8. 9.8. We're going to 11.8. 11.8. So we got two more left. And then once we get in the Jeep, we get the tent set up and we get headed back in the morning, he can't say just a little further anymore. So that'll be that. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't find you. Yeah, we start going and we find the steepest hill on the whole hike. Man, just, just a little further. Just a little further. I'm putting my food up. You can't put it into perspective how steep this is, but this is pretty cool. We got a view. Well, that's a good, pretty view right there. And he's about 100 feet down. Yeah. Look at that view. It's pretty, especially the sunlight like that. What in the crap? <laughs> Big old badookie right there. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's not any bear. He wants to see a bear, actually. You can see the stuff marks through here. Here, yeah, bear! Woodpecker. Absolutely beautiful. I think this last mile and a half is going to take just as long as the 
first nine. Look at an artist at work. Inception. <laughs> well, this is what we hiked 10 miles for. Beautiful. It really is. Yeah. Now this. Definitely worth the hike. If we would have done this in the morning, we wouldn't have seen it like this. This is stuff you only see on YouTube. You gotta get out here and see it to really see it for what it's worth. But like, I just sent my wife that one. That was good. Oh. You could definitely just come out here to a trailhead hike in for like a mile or more like just hike for a little while and there's like multiple campsites all along here look at that stud muffin look at that that's it mm -hmm. got the pants on tight right there oh, that looks good yep if i send that to the wife i got to come home tonight all right it's a relief when you can hear the road I think we saw the jeep through the woods. The road. Yeah, well, we're in the woods. But it's in the parking lot. Less than a half a mile left. So it's only about 30 to 45 minutes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be there before dark. I think this probably would have went a whole lot different if we would have planned to do the whole thing at once. Yeah. We would have come in with a different mindset. Yeah, yeah. And we'd have started earlier. I would have not known. Well, I mean, I really didn't know what to expect, but I probably would have been more intimidated. I was honestly a little, I was confident, and then we started talking about it. And you were like, if you do it a mile an hour, it's good. And I was like, dang, we're finna walk for four hours just to go four miles. And then we got to the campsite that was four miles in, less than two hours. And then we were feeling good. It's the shoes, man. It's gotta be the shoes he's got on. It's gotta be my shoes. Those look like race shoes, so maybe while you're racing. Because all of this was a trail run. Did did you have those shoes on when you had your heart back? No, I went and bought. They, That's the problem. I'm you, they got wings, man. He's flying. Well, almost done. All right, and we. We made it. This is it. This is, what's this called? Bull's Gap. Bull's Gap. Well, we parked the Jeep earlier. <laughs> we did a two day hike and less than, a, you know, we're done. We didn't even sleep. I feel like I need some now. This is looking a little steep. So this is the real test here. Oh. There's another test it's crossing the road here. You gonna have to go to the other end. Made it across. Let's see if he can do it. Let's see if he can make it. Yeah, gravity will work. <laughs> Just don't cross the road yet. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna have a photo shoot. But that's 12 miles. And here we are. We need a team photo right there. Bulls Gap. That's where we started and then, well, we did. We're here, we're done. We're gonna take this off. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. That was something. 12 miles down. In three quarters of a mile. Take city exit now, 124C, <laughs> I-65 north toward Huntsville. Big city terminus, set me free. And set me free. All right, so we, uh, as you can tell, 